Hi all remote learners. So today we're going to be doing an experiment. We can see here we have three different cups. I'm going to get some paper towels because it's going to be a little messy. Uh, so I have three cups. They have water in them. Um, I do have thermometers right here. I have three of them for each cup. And then I have these ice cubes that have blue dye in them. So I'm going to get them out. Again, it's going to make a mess. So that's why I want to make sure that I have paper towels. I'm going to put this in here, but before I do, I need to check how hot or cold the water is. So we can see what the temperature is. Let's see. So it reads here, it is 70 degrees. And, and that is going to be in Fahrenheit. So we have 70 degrees Fahrenheit for just the control. So I'm going to put my ice cube in there. Again, it has blue dye. So you can see, and we can see the blue coming out from it. If I put it closer, you're going to be able to see the dye coming out from it. Let me get the next one. And I'm going to show it close enough so you can see it. And you can see the dye coming out from it. And then I have one more cube that I have to do. I'm going to put it in there. Let it set. Let me wash and clean my hands because, again, I have blue dye all on it. So I need to wash my hands a little bit or dry them off. Um, so we're going to look at it. I'm going to let it set for a second. While I'm letting it set, I'm going to make my hypothesis of if the water is going to be hot, hotter than the temperature, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or if it's going to be colder than 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We have three different trials because we want to make sure and see that if the water is going to be hot or cold or if it's going to be the same type of temperature throughout. So... Move it back so you can see it a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and take the temperature of this. I'm going to leave it in there so I can take the temperature. And remember, it started off as uh, 7 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So... I've already seen it move down. So it went to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first cup was 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it went down quite a bit. So it went down about 20 degrees Fahrenheit from what it started off. So let's go ahead and do this next cup. The next cup, I'm gonna let it sit there. And then the last cup, I'm gonna put it in there too. So I'm gonna let it register it so it can figure it out how much it needs what what the temperature is so we're gonna wait and i think this one is about done so when i look at it again it's another 50 degrees fahrenheit so that seems like a good type of trial that we're having is we're having the same throughout which is a good thing now, if you have different answers, that's still okay, but we know that it is a consistent or an accurate type of statement. So let's see this last one. And it still says 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is a good type of trial that we had. So these three um, cups that we had, it started off with 70 degrees Fahrenheit for the water. And when we put the ice cubes in it, we could see the transfer of the cold from the ice cubes to the cup itself, and we're able to see that we are able to understand the transfer of energy, the ice to the water itself. So you're gonna go into Teams, answer the questions that we have. Again, this is cup one, cup two, and cup three um, from your experiment. So you'll be able to see that, and then you will know based off of the starting off um, temperature, it is 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The ending when putting the ice cube in there is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So you'll go and answer your questions that you have. 
um, that's going to be in Teams. I hope you all have a great day. See you later, guys.